Hello friends, welcome to my channel on YouTube and uh, today I will be telling you how to solve a restore of database field with Microsoft SQL Server and I will be taking a particular case scenario where I encountered um, a problem fixing a restoration from a database backup which I have already created from Microsoft SQL and this happened when uh, in one of the Udemy published courses I wanted the students to simulate the CRUD application from a github source and um, with the given backup set by restoring it okay so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel please please share with the, your friends and put your valuable comments it will be highly appreciated so over to the actual lesson here we go I have actually got this link on my github this is my repo blazor movie app you can see and from here i have got a few options either clone or download so i can you can either download a zip like this so it is downloading that is easier if you feel but i would like to clone it and for cloning it what i can do is i will copy clone with http i will copy this link and I'll go to my folder, Windows Explorer or File Explorer, to the place where I would like to download my project and clone it from the GitHub. So here I have already installed a Git Bash. So Git Bash is a tool, command line utility offered by the GitHub community and I will show you the link from where it could be downloaded and I will issue a command git clone and then paste the link click on enter and it will clone the uh, my project blazor movie app into this directory so I'll just visit the windows file explorer again to see the blazor movie app is okay it's all downloaded here so if i now wish to run this project what will happen i can sh i will show you that it will try to run but it will fail because there is no database attached which will be the next step forward and please watch on so this project is loading and if i just expand blazor movie app you can see that everything is there which i have shown you so far and this is a fully functional project but minus the database so you can see if you inspect the app settings.json file there is a default connection there is a connection string which is pointing to a local db ms sql local db with a particular database now this database is at the moment not there so if i click on the run it will fail and then i will show you how to correct this error so that it runs smoothly in sync with the database that's my um, project today that's my learning outcome so i'm expecting this to fail Okay, so it has failed. One or more errors occurred. Cannot open database. That's what is expected. So I will just stop the application. Now, what I will do is in this repo, if you look in closely into the repo, you will see that there is a backup file. This is the this is the zip folder. This will contain a backup file from where the database can be restored. So sorry that was express zip which has expired so i would open this zip with the um, windows explorer so you can see that there is a backup file which needs to be restored on the database all right so what i will do is i will just copy this copy it from here go one step up 
and then paste it. Because this is a zip file, either you can extract it or you can just um, go to the Windows Explorer to open it and then you can paste it to wherever you like. All right. So now this zip file is not needed. So I can just delete this. Delete this one. But the backup file is still there. So I will just copy this path. Copy. And next I will go to the SQL Server Management Studio. Okay. So I have already got this local DB MS SQL local DB. Now what I will do is I will just disconnect and show you again how to connect. So I don't believe it's it was previous connection. So I will just click on connect and its star server name is still local DB MS SQL local DB. There is a host of other uh, connections in servers, but I will choose this one because that is what my project is. Okay, that's the server for the database uh, that we have going to build. Okay, so click on connect with the Windows authentication now. Databases now in the database node, you will see that there is no um, database which is having the same connection string that is what I have shown you. Um, so far, okay, so what I will do is I will click on this database node, then right click and then restore database. So on this restore database um, wizard, I'll click on the device and then click on this ellipsis button and then click on add and then paste the URL, paste the link from where I would like to um, have this back, I mean, restore the backup file. This is my, um, this is my folder, you can say, where, which has the backup file, okay? So, I'm sorry, um, I'll have to add it. So just, Click on enter and I've got this backup file. I click on OK. Click on OK and click on OK again. And if everything is all right, uh, it is saying verify backup media. OK. Restore of database field. So let me see. So now I will, I have seen the cause of the restoration of database failure because when I click this link it is showing that you know, this existing directory uh, the full path to the MDF file which is the database master file is already existing at and it cannot be restored over the existing this file so reissue with the restore statement using with replace so I will not go that path what I will do is I will just keep it open and then browse to my directory and delete that existing file that might have been there because I have restored it earlier. Okay, so let's browse to that uh, file C uses. So this will be C. Let me go to my C and then users and then Kaushik and um, Put it over here. See, uses Kaushik is being a blazer movie. Okay, so if you go there again, see, uses Kaushik. Let's click on the date move, move, moved. Okay, so, so here is this file which is the which is already restored, so it cannot be restored. So I might have restored it earlier yesterday when I was preparing this video. So let me delete it first. Okay, delete it first. And then I will try to restore it. So I will click on OK. Now let me try to restore it. Verify backup media. Okay to database field. So what I will do is I will just um, cancel this 
go back to SQL Server Management Studio again. And then what I will do is once I have now deleted the log file and the master file, I should be able to restore it now. Let me try it once more. So databases, restore database. Uh, again, click on the device. And then click on add to this. Then click on the, just copy the same um, path and then try it once more try it click on ok click on ok this time it should be all right yeah it has now restored successfully so now you can see if we go back to the sql server management studio and click on the refresh databases and uh, click on this refresh button it's expanding and you have got this ASP.NET Blazor Movie app. And if you look into the tables, you'll find the familiar identity tables. You'll find the dbo.movies if you want to see the few rows. So I've already created a few movies, okay? And you've got a few users too, because it is backing up from a live database with data. So now, if I go back to the project and load this solution, so my project was so here is my project. Let me load it with Visual Studio 2019. Okay. So it's loading. It's all loaded. Now, if you run this application this time, so now this is successfully loaded. There's no database error. So now, if I click on login and login with one of the did uh, one of the um, registered email and password click on login so i get this movies now this uh, with the movie database with two records already there so i have successfully able to first clone it from my repo and restore the database on my sql server management studio and i have been able to successfully replicate now this is for you to actually study the entire projects with its full code following the previous lectures which you have already done and this will help you for future archiving of this project.